Right, so today I'm going to be looking at a, uh, a brand which I would consider to be exciting, innovative. It could even be or have been ahead of its time, ahead of the curve. Right. Turn ball. Oh, bit of a misread. Let's try another one before we leave this green. And, and how good are these greens, by the way? I'm at Heswell Golf Club today. And uh, hello, it's dull and miserable. It's, uh, the greens are in incredibly good condition. Um, we left ourselves a difficult one, but I'm just going to show you how good these greens are rolling, but also there's a reason why this is very uh, important to the video. Oh, great effort. Didn't quite come off the bank as quite as much. Because the big deal in recent months, maybe in the last 12 months or so, has been zero talk. There's been uh, a lot of talk about the fact that lab putters have appeared in a number of Tor Pros bags in recent weeks. But one putter, zero talk putter, appeared in a Tor Pros bag maybe several years ago. And like I said, was ahead of its time. And that's what we're gonna have a look at in today's video. Yeah, that's solid. And again, bang on line where I was aiming. This is in fact a zero torque putter that I have in hand. It is the OG in many ways because 10 years ago, a brand called Axis One released the very first zero torque putter. And what I have in my hands is their latest model. And I'm really keen to see how it compares. And is it doing, like the others have suggested, create a stable putter for many average golfers that we really all should start to be moving towards. I was interested in how the whole sort of space on YouTube has changed. And uh, what I mean by that is two years ago, I reviewed my very first Zero Talk putter, which was from Lab Golf, and uh, suggested it could be very beneficial to a lot of golfers. And uh, the comment section back then was very negative. There was a lot of hostility. Go on, yeah. Oh no, that looked good for a long while. Skip forward two years and the whole mentality has changed and the comment section right now would be any sort of criticism towards lab golf would be, well, thrown out straight away and people are telling me just how good they are. I just love how YouTube commentary works. But the good thing is, after all of that, I think we've now accepted that there is a place for zero torque putters. What interests me about Axis One, this is the first time I've had one of their putters in my hands. I played a couple of rounds with it before today. And what interests me about this concept is it's very different to the other two, in my opinion. And that's very much based on a couple of things, really. The way it looks, the way it's set up, the way the neck and uh, meets the hosel and meets the putter is yet again another different variation on a theme what we've seen so far. So what I'm gonna do in today's video is I'm gonna give you my thoughts on how this original version, very much the original version of Zero Talk is a new addition for me and for you perhaps, and a real interesting addition because there's lots of things within this putter that I feel aren't in the other two options currently. Yeah, good read again. What I like about this at the moment, I've always said that no matter what putter golf club you have in your hand, they don't, this for example, it doesn't read greens for you and it doesn't understand pace. So you've still got to get them things right. But at the moment, I'm very much uh, setting the ball off uh, on the line that I'm aiming for. The club head is staying square and on line and therefore for me it's doing something. I don't have to do a great deal. Where this one's different is, first of all, in the setup, there's no great forward press that we've seen in the other putters. So straight away, you're in a, a fairly standard position, I would say. But then what is also very different is, like I said, the way the hosel meets the head, or the way the shaft meets the hosel and meets the head. And as you can see, it's in a very different position than what we're used to. Now, I've got to admit, when I first seen that, I thought it would be a little bit of a, a negative because it's something that I've got to get used to visually. But very soon, after two or three puts, 
I was already in what I would call very sort of familiar territory with it. I felt very, very comfortable with it. And the only thing it does is this little recess. It sort of almost adopts that sort of forward press idea, if you like, because the head is set back a little bit from the shaft. So where you make contact with the ball seems, like I said, to, a, to sort of the forward press concept is still applied when you're hitting the ball through and it adopts an immediate sort of forward roll and impact on the ball and a very positive strike. But it's a very different setup and I understand the way in which they achieve zero torque in the Axis 1 lineup is to do with the weighting that is put in this heel area. So it's a different concept in how it's achieved. What you've got to ask yourself first of all with any product is from a visual perspective is this more suited to your eye because like I said it's very different than the other two options and as with the other putters they've got a very neat way of uh, picking a ball up which is uh, yeah I like that anyway I'm going to need my phone because I want to read you an extract from um, Axis One's website because they say unlike other putter companies that use visual demonstrations to claim zero torque or perfect balance Axis One relies on actual precision engineered torque meter to measure and showcase the torque in a putter. This torque meter provides real data proving that Axis One putters remain perfectly balanced and absent of torque during your stroke. This is measurable proof that sets us apart, showing golfers the true impact of our patented zero torque technology. With Axis One, you're not seeing claims, you're seeing science back results in action. And I like that. So this is the latest uh, lineup release from Axis One. This is the Shadow Series. So it's a basically a blacked out, black shaft, black face, CNC milled face that is by the way. And then the back end is a, is a composite. Uh, so very, very sort of different construction as well than I've seen before. Uh, what I will say is uh, the milled face feels really good and really familiar, um, really soft off the face. And I think in the actual sort of shaping and profile of the putter, it's very much like what we've seen before in, in a number of putters from a number of brands. And that's one of the big things for me. It's more like what we're used to. So familiarity wise, it's, uh, it's not something you have to get used to apart from that hosel. Whereas with the other putters, there seems to be a little bit something unique going on. Certainly with Lab in terms of the profile and what have you, it's very, very different. So I'd say this is much more traditional and what we're used to looking at. All right, let's have another go. I certainly haven't given myself the, uh, the easiest of, uh, of putts. And uh, let's see if we can. So my aim is going to be on the right edge of this hole, slightly uphill. and uh, just having it hard enough. I think that was bang on, but it was bang on the lane, line I was aiming. I think the other thing I would like to mention is uh, the price point. Really interesting. I think this model is 389, and I say this model because in the Shadow Series, I think there's just two options in terms of the head profile and uh, 389 UK pounds. So they've also put themselves in a position where I think that's quite favorable from a price perspective as well. <laughs> wow, I've not seen a putt like that go in the back door. That didn't want to, it was afraid of the dark, but eventually it succumbed. Nice to finish on a putt because I'm going to finish it there. And all I'm going to finish by saying is that I'm a massive fan of zero torque putter concept. I don't really care which brand that you consider best for you, but I do think that the actual concept is likely to help you hold more put and make a part of the game that's really important, just a little bit easier. What I will say is Axis One, uh, PXG, Lab, I believe, even Roller are bringing out a putter as well. They've all got their own little quirks and they're all very, very different putters in my opinion. And you as an individual, are going to benefit from that because there's going to be some elements that you uh, like and some elements that you dislike. So it is really important to try uh, if you can, to test them all. This has got a very different face. It's got a very different setup, like I've already spoke about the way in which the shaft meets, uh, meets the club head. Um, so it's really important to try them all. But more importantly is, again, to open up the mindset to zero torque as a concept and uh, 
give what uh, Axis, claim, Axis One claim to be the original creators of this concept. Give them a go if you get an opportunity because it's a really, really good putter and uh, I would have no problems with gaming that whatsoever. Right, thank you for watching. Thank you to Heswell Golf Club. Like I said, the greens have been absolutely superb. Real good roll. I can't believe how green they are this time of year as well. R running pure and looking fine is, uh, is what I would say. So thanks to them. Thanks for you for watching and I'll see you all very soon.